I want to use the force of music to transform the lives of the young generation, the young people, especially in Africa. I started playing music when I was six years old. I learned how to play music in church. I was taught how to play drums at age six. And uh, no, you know, sometimes when I talk about drums, people think African drums, but actually uh, Western drums, like a drum set. And by seven, I was already playing uh, in the church as the main drummer. My parents, they actually introduced me to music after seeing how passionate and uh, desiring I was for music, especially for rhythm. Learning music in church exposes you to a lot of things. Uh, you know, you're exposed to singing, to other instruments, to acting, and, and, and many things. And so I began to learn piano. And not seriously as I was with drums, I was still very serious, more focused on the drums. But I began looking into other instruments, piano. and uh, rhythm guitar and acoustic guitar. I remember the day I learned bass at my church. The bass guitarist didn't show up. So, you know, I I, I, I grabbed the bass. The service had just begun. So I grabbed the bass with the LMT. I just began playing with it and I realized I could do it. And then the same thing with the guitar. My church had a very old guitar they had gotten rid of in the church store. So I was searching through the store and I saw this old guitar. I asked, them, do you still need this? They said, no, you can have it. I turned on the radio and I would listen to guitar music. I mean, all different kinds of music. And then I start mimicking. Or playing along what I had. And uh, also while I, I, I was learning how to play drums, I listened to a lot of American black gospel music, which is very rhythmical. So I learned a lot and I listened to everything. So I picked up the guitar. And then in 2000, uh, 2002, I began to seriously uh, get a hold of the piano. I, I, I realized I had more passion for the piano. So I spent six months, nine hours a day, practicing and learning how to really play the piano the right way. By 2008, I was already spotted by a traveling band that needed a, a musician to fill in the spot, a very good musician. And I was in the city doing the jazz gig and they watched me play. They said, hey, we have this opportunity to travel and we need serious musicians to work with and we think you're the best we, we found so far. So I joined them, I came to the United States, played music and uh, for three months. And after that tour, you know, it just didn't stop. I began to travel and bands were signing me up. I've been, I've been all the time, man. I went on, on to 40 countries playing music all over the world with different artists from Europe, from Africa, from West Africa, and from America. And uh, eventually, in the year of uh, 2012, uh, I expressed I had the interest. I expressed my interest of coming to America actually and get professional music training. I was visiting Michigan and I met some friends who helped me find a school and I joined a school like Michigan College. Um, I've worked with him as a music student. He plays uh, piano in our jazz ensemble um, and is a very impressive uh, musician. Um, 
we, we spent a lot of time, um, I think, talking back and forth about, you know, different uh, musical ideas, especially about rhythmic stuff, because I'm, uh, I'm a drummer, and um, I really enjoy those conversations with him. I joined the music program here, and I've been a music student here for the last uh, three years. Really, as a musician, he's very, very talented, very focused on what his goals are as well. <laughs> doesn't read generally, he usually learns by ear and it's interesting for us to work together. Now I have my degree in music, uh, general music education and performance and also specified uh, training in jazz. Now I have been, I have had the privilege to, to learn and understand even uh, music as far as the style of jazz is concerned and uh, I would call myself a jazz musician now. My goal is to build a music school or to inspire or pioneer a creation of a good music institution for my country where I come from. The, one of the biggest problems we have in Africa is education, access to good education. Our people are so talented, highly talented in Africa. But the problem is we do not have the institutions to train and groom this talent to an international standard or a professionally acknowledged standard. So my goal is to build a music school. Uh, that's number one priority. And the second thing is uh, I want to be uh, a writer, a jazz music writer, composer, and uh, arranger, and also help produce, write music, produce music, and publish music for upcoming artists. Music is not just something you do to enjoy yourself, but you can earn a living. It's a profession. It can pay you, it can change your life, it can also make the world a better place.